Hey, welcome back to Earth Cat Mushrooms. Hope you like this video. Uh, if you do, give us a like, uh, subscribe to our channel, um, that way you can keep up to date with what we're doing. Uh, usually, usually on Earth Cat Mushrooms, we keep things pretty easy. Uh, videos are a little short um, and right to the point. This one probably is gonna be a little bit longer and it's not because we're doing anything complicated, uh, but we're gonna talk about some things that most people don't talk about or you don't hear very often. Uh, that being said, I uh, want to get into it. Um, all we're going to do today is we're really just essentially making a liquid culture, but we're going to put a little twist on it. Um, what we're going to make is our, we're going to make a master liquid culture. Um, and with that master liquid culture, it's going to be stored in the refrigerator uh, to slow down the growth of the mycelium. And what we're going to use it for is if we get a contamination, uh, in our regular jar, or if, or once the genetics of the regular jar, um, after so many generations, start to break down and we want to start it over. And um, so this is the point where that I was kind of alluding to in the beginning, um, the genetics part. Most people don't talk about genetics very much, and it's, uh, it's really important. Genetics, basically what we're doing uh, from this jar when we, this jar uh, essentially holds uh, 30 um, or three, 300 milliliters, so about 30 syringes worth of liquid culture. Um, once this gets down to the, uh, to the end, uh, we'll make a new jar, take some out of here, put it into a new one. Um, what you're doing with that though is you're essentially cloning this jar into a new jar. And after so many generations, what happens is your genetics start to break down. Um, on the genetic side of it, um, it's just like in your in your body. Say if you get sunburned, um, a lot of times that's not going to be a big deal. Your DNA heals itself, uh, but over time, if you keep doing that, you keep burning yourself and keep burning yourself, and your DNA needs to repair itself. Uh, eventually, or possibly, what could happen is you could develop some kind of skin cancer, and it could be an, a real issue. Uh, the same thing's going to happen when you're doing clones of your original liquid culture. If you could if you clone it again and again and again and again, after five or six generations, your original culture, um, the genetics in this original culture to the six or seven generations later is not going to be the same. They're going to, the DNA is going to degrade and it, you could have, be more prone to contamination or you could just, it just maybe doesn't grow as well. Um, so many other things. Um, so what we're gonna, what we're doing by making the master culture is, well, we're gonna give us the ability to reset those genetics from the original uh, great genetics um, just a lot more times than we would normally be able to without starting over. Um, so let me show you a few things of what I have here. These are, um, I have, an, an, this is an Oki, an Oki culture. Really good, um, healthy, beautiful mycelium in here. We have a pink oyster, and we're gonna make both of these. These are both regular pint jars. Our masters are gonna be in these. These are just a half pint jar. You can see it has the filter patch on it, has the um, uh, self-healing injection port, just like normal. What's going to be a little bit different here, though, is we're going to put a long um, syringe in here that's going to be permanently affixed in here. Uh, on top of that, we're going to put a stopcock on this. Uh, and what this does, you may not have seen these very much. And I don't, I don't really see anybody using these, but they um, essentially what this can do is attach to this uh, on one end, and then you can take your um, syringe without the needle on it and it'll attach to the other end and you can pull out what you need, close this off, remove your syringe and then the only point of contamination that you could possibly get is on the top uh, and then what you can do is just leave another syringe attached to it you know as a as a barrier you can fill it up with isopropyl alcohol whatever. Um, what that's gonna do though just like just like all of these self-injection ports after after, like I said, this gets 30 uses out of it. When you poke into this 30 times, this self-injection port is no good anymore. You have to peel it off, 
put a new one on. That's not a big deal. Uh, but with the with the permanent affix needle in here and the stop pack on it, um, you don't have to keep poking through it. You just have to do it one time. Um, so um, let's get into it. I'll show you uh, what I want to do with it. So the uh, these um, uh, came already. Um, I, I just put these. I took these out and put them together. They were all, all sterilized already. This one will be for later. Um, let me back up a bit. So what do we have here? I showed you already. Anoki and pink liquid culture. Um, these are both um, real good genetics. They're looking great. These are going to be our new uh, master culture. Uh, we have a bunch of the long um, needles and I'll put uh, the link on where you can get these uh, in the description. We have our stopcocks. These are sterilized as well. I'll put a link on where you can get these on the description. We have our isopropyl alcohol. Um, got some more as well in here. And um, yeah, that's all we need. You know, um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, we need to sterilize these. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually just fill up this um, small little glass all the way up to the, to the top here. Um, that way they're sterilized and they'll be ready to go all the way to the little green part. We'll spray that. Uh, when we're ready for that to do in just a bit. Um, what we're going to do is take our, um, this is our master culture. I have a, little, a, a stirring rod in there as well. This is, uh, like I said, a little, just a little half jar. Uh, I'm going to spritz this up with our isopropyl alcohol. And real simple, we're just going to take one of these sterilized ones. Uh, I'm going to spray the top on this as well. And uh, this is gonna go straight through, straight through here. All the way down. All right, that's in there. Give a little spritz again. We're gonna take our stopcock, open this up. And this is gonna attach it has a, just like a cap on the front of the uh, syringe there. This is, gonna, this is gonna come off and this is gonna attach to here. And that's essentially it. You're pretty much done. So uh, I'll show you how this works. Is you can take your, well, what, let me use this one actually. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll make the pink off for you a little shape. I'm gonna spray this. Pull 10 cc's out. Really don't need 10. I'm probably pull just probably half of these actually. And um, let's pull this out. Put this cap on. The cap we don't uh, or the needle part we don't need anymore. I'm gonna pull the cover off of here. I'll give that spray as well. And this the great part about this is. Pull the needle off and it attaches just like the needle does screws right on there now with this uh open straight up and down closed is the opposite way so we're gonna push in our liquid culture i'm gonna pull some out and push it back and that way we make sure we get it all and then we're gonna close this stop cock off close that up and you can essentially leave this on um, or you can put the little cap back on it. I'm gonna put the cap back on like it was originally. Um, what I'm gonna do, and, and I'll probably do this off camera because I wanna clean this up a little bit, is essentially um, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna put some more, um, high temperature silicone around this needle. That way it doesn't move at all. That way there's no chance of um, anything getting in there. Uh, but you can see the, well, it's, I don't know if you can see on camera, but I can see plenty of mycelium in there. That's gonna start growing really well. And we're gonna put this into the refrigerator. Um, so I'm gonna um, label this and um, label that. That's the pink oyster. We'll put that on the side. And uh, let's do the next one. We'll do the Nokia as well while we're here. So 
So shake that up. Give this one a shake. Spread the top here. Take one of these guys out. And what do you want to do? These these are blunted. They don't have the, the nice um, tip like the regular ones do. Uh, but so it, a little bit harder to push through here. Uh, but we're gonna push it through the top and into our liquid culture. All the way down. Awesome. Give that a spray. Top of spray. Pull off the stopcock and put that guy on there. That's going to be fixed up there now. I'm going to take our Anoki and put the Anoki culture in here as well. Top off here. Make sure you're open, and then we'll spray uh, or push all of this in there. I'm gonna pull up again. That way we can get make sure all of it in there. And then we're gonna remove this and put the top back on. That's gonna be our no be culture. So really, that's really it. Um, but you can see, this has uh, our Noki culture in there, the long syringes all the way in here, stop cock on the top, and when you, make sure you close this off as well. Uh, when you need to get some, you'll open this up, put a new syringe on, and you're good to go. Um, that's essentially what I wanted to show you. This is so these are going to become our master culture. These are going in the refrigerator after I label them. Uh, one thing I will do, uh, like I said, is get some more high temperature silicone and just put a little bit around here, just so this doesn't wiggle anymore. You know, as, it, at all. Uh, and it, it is a, you know, it's just through the high temperature silicone, so it it does have a chance to wiggle and give you a, a point of. Um, where you could get contamination. So what I'm gonna do is just seal that all off um, in the end as well. And these are gonna go in the refrigerator. Um, so that's really it. Um, the, in a nutshell, is what we, I wanted to show you is how to make these liquid cultures. Um, these are I'm gonna use as masters. You can actually put these on your regular uh, liquid culture jars, of course. Um, uh, definitely not a bad idea to do that. That way you're not poking in, you know, it'll definitely save your um, uh, injection port for sure. With the high temperature of the silicone though, I don't really think it's very necessary because they're so easy to to replace. But if you're using the, um, the other type that, uh, the rubberized ones, the, it'll save those um, quite a bit and probably save you some money. But I'll put the link of where you can get the, the needles from, the stock box from, and uh, everything you need just like we always do. Um, so again, if you have any questions, um, uh, leave it in the comments, I'll definitely answer you. Uh, hope you like this video and we'll definitely catch you in the next one. Thanks so much, have a good one.